With a slight drop in crime year to year, Detroit claiming the title of most violent city in the country in its population category. That's according to newly released stats compiled by the FBI. Last year, just over 13,000 violent crimes were committed in the city limits. That includes murder, rape, assault, and robbery. Chief Craig blaming two things when asked about the numbers Monday. He says it's because of illegal guns and people turning to violence to settle arguments. Craig says current numbers point to more troubling stats in 2020 when adding on the stressors of COVID-19 to the situation. Right now, non-fatal shootings up 50 percent. Homicides are up 23 percent. On the other end of that list is Sterling Heights, rated the safest big city in Michigan for the second year in a row. Violent crime here is down 30%. I mean, that is a that's a ridiculous decrease in numbers. The Sterling Heights police chief claiming safest big city out of seven others in the state. Bad guys know if you're going to commit a crime, there's certain areas that you're probably more likely to get away with it. In certain areas, you're probably going to get caught. The chief says the steady economy in 2019 helped push those numbers in the right direction and the police department's investment in community relations. I really believe that there's this piggy bank between us and our residents, right? We, we have to put money in that piggy bank because one day we're going to ask for a withdrawal. We're going to ask for some faith and some support back. Last year, the police funding millage passed by 80% of voters, keeping Sterling Heights officer count at 153. The chief says they'll continue with an emphasis on community policing. You can't ask for the partnership after the fact, right? You have to have that relationship prior to the disaster or the chaos. So that doesn't happen overnight. It happens over weeks, months, years. The full list of FBI stats are on our website, fox2detroit.com. In Sterling Heights, Jessica Dupnack, Fox 2 News.